Now, if you could have just one power, what would you choose? Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this epic, but not about superheroes, book. Savvy! On your magical birthday, what power would you wish for? By Ingrid Law, which I have to admit is a pretty good author. And it's the 10th anniversary edition, which kind of doesn't matter. What matters is what's inside. And if we go on, you see, this book isn't about like Superman, Shazam, or, or like Iron Man, or Captain America, or anything ridiculous superhero or something like that. Oh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I love superheroes. It's just not, it's, this book just, is just not about superheroes. It's about normal people who found out that they had a savvy, a thing that they could do well, or sometimes interestingly. I mean, actually, if, if someone asked me, what would you want to have your superpower, then I would say that I want to have the power to grant myself infinite number of wishes. Because then I could give myself other superpowers and like change reality and stuff like that and that will be absolutely epic. Boy, I mean, come on, if you could do anything, it'll be like almost a godhood. But personally, that's a very strong power and it just exists in my fantasies. Like, in, in, in my head, if I had that kind of power, I would have a new MacBook Pro, a, a pile of fantasy books, and I'd be an accomplished author sitting in a mansion, but things doesn't work out that way, so... Yeah. Anyway, if we go inside, they call this a savvy, which is a kind of... They have a knack of, a, like, a talent to do something. Her... In our dear main character, Mississippi, who is named... Who is called Mibs, shortened. She, her grandfather, has the power to make earthquakes. And he can move mountains and basically change the map. He could change the coastline. He could move Washington away from the mainland. He could do anything. Of course, now he's old and he doesn't have the power to, to push mountains. The only thing he could do is make small earthquakes, but when he was young and mighty, he could do those things. And before he was born, a lot of things were stranger. Well, geographically speaking. And her mother. Her mother had the ability to do everything perfectly. For example, she looked beautiful, perfect, pristine, and she could make anything perfect. She could play basketball perfectly. She could throw hoops into a long little stick perfectly. And if she wanted to, she could miss perfectly. She could mess up perfectly. And all in all, she was a perfect person. And her brothers. Rocket, her oldest brother, could control electricity. How cool is that? But it's still savvy. It's not like he could fly around shoot electric bolts. That's ridiculous to be exact. And her second oldest brother, Fish, can could control the water and the winds, which is basically controlling the weather. He could conjure up hurricanes and tornadoes and these water. He could control water. And he was extremely powerful. I mean, in my opinion, they could go around stopping crime any time, but they're just normal people. Normal people who had just had a knack of doing something. A savvy. And Mips has turned 13, and on her, 13th bir on her family's 13th birthday, it usually results into some sort of catastrophe. Like a hurricane, or a big earthquake, or something like that. And she's excited to get her powers every day. She wished for shooting lasers out of her eyes so that she could mess up all the bullies in town and 
It's that sort of ridiculous thing, and honestly, if I were her, I would think the same things too. Oh, except, uh, you know, the power to make wishes come true, and on and on and on. And if we continue on, Mibs, she thinks that she can wake up her father, who had been caught in a terrible car accident and is in a coma. And she wants to get there, and so on her birthday, she runs away with her friend Will and her brother Fish, and her nemesis-turned-friend, Bobby, who is, well, definitely older than her. And together they go on, they hit a ride on a bus, which has a good delivery man on it, and he's a very good man, too. And together they go on this long road trip, to the place, the hospital, where her father is being kept. But they get into all sorts of trouble. Like the police and a bad woman. And they become runaways. And there's, on TV, there's big headlines saying about missing children and alert. And, well, it's just a big thing. But our dear Mibs finds out that her power is to read minds. Read minds of people who has tattoos. Or any mark, any dot, or line, or figure drawn crudely on a marker. This too can make you, make her read your mind. And those tattoos for her would talk about what he or she is thinking. And that's uh, pretty cool, but it's nothing like being able to control the weather or the electricity or making earthquakes happening or moving mountains, which Grandpa Bob Bomba could do, by the way. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a power, but it's not like a big deal power. But as I told you, it's not about superheroes. It's about people who just had a little savvy, a little neck doing something. And then she goes to find her father. And at the end, it's a happy ending or not. I mean, you got to read the book to find out. Will father ever wake up? And would she able to wake her father up? What is what exactly does her savvy do? And what will her siblings, her younger siblings, her little brother and her little sister get later on? Well, only time will tell, or in that case, two sequels to Savvy. And by the way, guys, if you were inconvenienced by the fact that I haven't uploaded in a pretty long time. I mean, it's just because I got the flu and it totally ruined my Christmas, but I'm back now and I read a lot of books because being sick at Christmas, that makes for a good read. And, well, it is a great book, a must read, although I will not tell you the ending. I'll just say that it's not a bad ending. It's not an unhappy ending. It's a pretty happy ending. And our dear... Our dear Mibs definitely deserved it. And like always, your book quester, I read the book quester. Great book as always, and a good Christmas warm Christmas read. Although it's not themed Christmas, it's just perfect for family.